Hey guys, Mike Croft here. Let's talk about the best way to go cashless during the coronavirus crisis. All right, so I don't know if this has happened to you, but in our area, the banks have stopped giving out cold, hard cash. That's right. You cannot get cash right now from a bank. And for those of you who are like me, uh, who use the envelope system and use cash to make the majority of your purchases, uh, what do we do next? Because if we can't get access to cash or if we go through another you know, crisis where you know, uh, another virus or whatever it is uh, and people don't want to touch cash, well, what's the best way to be able to still spend but not cause your budget to go out of bounds. And so what we've done guys this month is we've come up with a really cool uh, idea and really cool way that we've tried out and tested and it's worked really well and it's helped our budget, our cash flow plan to really stay on track and can help and it's really helped us to continue to win this month. It's called a Coho card. Absolutely love it and here's what it is. It's a prepaid Visa card which means uh, you put money on it at the beginning of the month here and you spend it as the month goes on. The cool thing about this specific card here is there's there's no fees. Unlike most prepaid cards where they're gonna charge you, you know, an activation fee or a restocking fee or something like that, there are no fees on this card. And what's even cooler about that is there's actually a cash back reward component. Now, not that we do it for that, but hey, if we're gonna go cashless, especially right now, uh, it, it is kind of cool to earn some cashbacks. And so right now we're earning about 3% on this card here. And there's a couple different ways you can activate that uh, once you get the card there. But what has happened is, is, is using this alone isn't gonna help your cash flow plan to work this month. And all the stats out there show that on average, when you use plastic over cash, whether it's a prepaid card, uh, whether it's a debit card or a regular Visa card, on average, you're gonna spend 12 to 18% more. McDonald's found it was 35% more. And other studies have found it's actually 100 to 200% more, depending on what you're purchasing. So. All the studies show us it's on average you spend more money using plastic over cash. And so how can we overcome that knowing that that's statistically what's gonna happen here? Well, what we've done guys is we've, um, not only have we got ourselves a joint uh, Visa card here that both my wife and I have access to, uh, but what we've done is we've used an app on our phone called Expenses. And let me walk you through how that works. All right, guys, so let's walk through here the, the, the expense app that we use to hold, you know, that Coho card and what we spend this month. Really, it's the accountability. What we call it the digital envelopes is what it is here. And as you can see, now we've been on this for about a month. We usually do use physical cash. However, with what's going on this month, we haven't had access to cash. Banks are giving cash out at the moment. Uh, who knows where we're going to go with this? And so, you know, we may be one day, you know, in a cashless society. You know, not a big deal because we've got tools like this. You can continue you to have that you're not gonna have an issue with that you continue to be able to walk, walk through this really well and right, so what we've done here is you select the month that you're in we're obviously at the end of March here and here's some really cool things about this feature here is you can set up your digital envelope so for example we've got blow money money that we just want to blow wherever clothing gas groceries house kids supplements and you might have more than that if you do just add them you might have less than that if you do that's fine too uh and what's here's how simple it is uh what you need to do or what you want to do is essentially when you go out and spend somewhere so let's just say for example we did i don't know let's call it 30 bucks uh for gas uh under comments here what we're going to do is we're going to write uh gas Next, we get to pick what category that money is gonna come out of. So for example, uh, I've got my digital gas envelope here, and so I'm gonna hit that, all right, hit create, and it's gonna minus that for my gas envelope. So when I go to this next page here, it's gonna show me I've got $34 left remaining. I mean, how cool is that? And also when you scroll down below your digital envelopes there, you can see who has spent what where. So, you know, did I spend it? Did Steph spend it? Uh, how much did we spend? And then we can track literally throughout the month how much we've spent where, which makes, makes it a lot easier when going through each and every month here, as well as if you want to select by the, you know, by category, by digital envelope, you can select what envelope goes where and literally just walk through what's been spent on what day at what company and walk through that way as well. And that's how simple it is, guys. When you take a card like this 
and you use it with your digital envelope system here, it's gonna cause you to be able to have your cash flow balance this month. You're not gonna overspend, you're not gonna underspend. And so essentially what, like I said, what we do there is we take, you know, if we plan $1,200 a month for groceries, we'll put $1,200 on the coho card. If we plan $300 for gas, we'll put $300 on the coho card. And as we spend, we track on our digital envelopes. And it's really helped us this month to not overspend, to not cause the budget to go you know, crazy over there. Uh, and, and it's really kept us on track. And really what happens, the difference between using a prepaid card and a regular Visa card is a regular Visa card, the way it works is people just swipe, swipe, swipe. And at the end of the month, they go to pay that bill. Well, what happens is, again, statistically speaking, you spend on average 12 to 18% more. And so what happens is month over month over month, they're giving Visa more than they ever plan to do. Or with a prepaid card like this one right here, what happens is this causes you to think ahead. You know, so we've got to look ahead 30 days down the road, four weeks down the road here, and plan what we're actually going to spend. And as we spend and we track in our digital envelopes, it really causes that whole uh, habit and behavioral thing to happen, just like using cash, where what, what we do is when we look and see those envelopes getting, those digital envelopes getting less and less and less and less, we got to re, you know, sometimes it's about having a conversation of do we have enough in there or just cause us to spend a little bit less as the month goes on there. And so, guys, if you're in Canada, go get your Coho card uh, and use this as your plan to go forward here while we weather out the storm. Now, if you live in the U.S., you've got a great system down there. Uh, it's called a debit credit card. Now, we have this in Canada as well, but it doesn't seem to work as well for the majority of banks. And so we don't always recommend it for a lot of people. But in the U.S., you've got the system down there. It's rock star. It works really well. It's called a debit credit card, just like this in my hand here. It's a debit credit card for you guys. Uh, and that's going to allow you to go and spend, or whether it's online, whether it's hotels, whether it's car rental, whatever it is, you're going to be able to do that. And if you use the expense app that we use here, the same way and set it up the same way it's going to do the exact same thing and it's going to cause your budget your cash flow plan and it's really going to cause your month to stay on track and do really well hey guys mike croft here if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit subscribe as well as check out some other content from the show